And here's the cap that we've been constructing. We're pitched so that moisture rolls off. We have a drip edge so it stays away from our curb. We're gonna get this screwed in. But there it is. So the plan is to remove the screws, pull the cap, replace with a new cap. That way the process is the same for all roof curbs. This cap is 35 by 17. All right, to make this fitting, we are gonna start with these 17 by 35s. So we know we need four, right? One, two, three, four. And we're gonna put a three inch lip on them, right? So we draw that out, three inch lip, cut line, three inch lip, cut line, cut line, cut line. And then we just use our calculator, right? Three plus 17 plus three plus three plus 17 plus three plus three plus 17 plus three plus three plus 17 plus three. And then we just mark that out. And then next, we're gonna lay out our zero to three uh, 35, three. And then we'll have the squares we need all in one go. All right, so we were marking out these side lines. Went ahead and got these marked out. Now we've got one, two, three, four caps, ready to go. We just need to cut on our lines. All right, we got all four pieces cut. We got the top piece trimmed off. So now we want to make these into a cap. So we got to decide where we want our rivets, here or here. Um, I'm going to have to use my pocket brake for this edge. So I think I want to put the rivets here and here. That means I need a tab on this edge, all right, all the way around. So we'll mark that and cut these corners out. All right, we got our edges marked out. We're gonna put a drip edge on this at the end, so we wanna cut our tabs back equal length to the drip edge. And I just I just use this uh, ledge here because that'll make life easy for putting that edge on there. All right, we got our corners cut out. Next, we're gonna put a, a cross brick in this big old bad boy. So we're gonna use the Hillmar pocket brake. All right, so now that we got a cross break in there, we need to put this drip edge on, right? So that way when water comes down, it gets pulled away. So we're gonna flip our fitting over and use our brake drive edge to just, doop, 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 just put a little edge on there all the way around. All right, our drip edge is set all the way around. So now uh, I'm gonna use my tool to bend these edges. I have this brake, uh, but it only will do two edges. So I'm going to use this brake. I'll get that all set up. I'll show you what that looks like. Just like that, we'll get this turned around and do the other side. All right, we've got our edges turned now. But we gotta do these last two. This isn't glamorous, but this is the plywood that's gonna go under this cap. So it's cut perfect to size. We're gonna place it, clamp it, and use the floor to set our rough edge. And we'll finish with the hill marker. Not the prettiest, but the goal here is something that you could make in a pinch. Like these need to be installed first thing in the morning. 
uh, we got snow coming in. So the manufacturing shop needs 10 business days to make me all the caps I need. So I'm gonna just get these busted out. Now you can see that got us close, but we want to really define this edge. So we're going to use the pocket brake, right? The Hillmar tool. And that's going to put a real nice bend in there. To this side. So now these bad boys, right when we get the angle where we want it, we're gonna drill, drill, rivet, rivet, done. But yeah, first cap. Drip edge, three inch slip, not too shabby. All right, we're in a race against time, but I just wanted to show you what these caps look like. We got short rivets, we got our plywood in place, um, our drip edge is secure. We'll get a little bit of paint on there. We're doing some insulating of these roof curbs, but that's gonna go ahead and sit right on that cap. I'll show you when it's installed. All right, this is what it looks like with the foam board up to the top. And here's the cap that we've been constructing. We're pitched so that moisture rolls off. We have a drip edge so it stays away from our curb. We're gonna get this screwed in, but there it is. It's our curb cap, custom fab. Checking out our caps, getting a little bit of sealant over our rivets, because we don't have a welder in the field. Well, you can see that drip edge. Yeah, they came out pretty good. If I do say so myself. All right, roof caps are in. We are secured. We got 11 in total. That's the smallest one. 